Hey folks, welcome to another day, another unboxing. This is the Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite 5G. It was just announced today. It is the super cool mid-range phone with the brand new Qualcomm Snapdragon 780G chip. Yes, and it does have some really cool features to add to that. So I wanna thank the Minions for helping out today with this unboxing because knives are sharp, as you probably know. So this phone should cost around 370 euros and let's uh, take a look together, shall we? Here's the box. It's not too much here, as you can see. So let's open her up. Da, 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 da. Just then you see what it says right there, 5G connectivity. We've got a little divider here. So let's take that out first and then we're going to take out the phone, of course, and see some of the in important specs of the phone. So this is the new Snapdragon 780G processor, the successor to the super popular Snapdragon 765G that was in almost every mid-range phones last year. 90 hertz display with 10-bit color depth AMOLED, pretty exciting. And uh, it's super thin and light. I'll give you an idea how thin it is. Look at this, that is thin, right? So yeah pretty cool all right let's have a look at this in more details in a second first let's look at the inside of this now the divider and of course we've got a charging brake this is a 33 watt european charging brake from xiaomi standard stuff with the orange keying here and then we've got a matching cable all right so usb a to c you can see the a here and the c here color match you have to use this cord with this charger to get the maximum speed you know the drill all right, so that's basically it for the box. There's really nothing else in here. So let's have a look at this divider here and see what's in here. SIM removal tool. Aha, another little pouch. That means USB-C to 3.5 millimeter adapter. Here we go, right? So no headphone jack on this phone, obviously. Just need the adapter to get audio or use Bluetooth. Now we've got warranty card, not important. We've got a manual let's look at that in a second and we have a case with a screen protector in here as well so that's cool screen protector and a tpu case again i like these a lot because they give you some protections to get started you know they're well fitted and they don't get too yellow over time so if you need to get started you want a case to protect your phone that doesn't take away from the aesthetics this is a good start all right that's it for here so now let's have a look at this uh manual here Mi 11 Lite 5G so it's going to be in multiple languages and there's going to be some illustrations Ta-da! so as you can see there's no micro SD here because this can only take sims I believe there's a version of this maybe for China that has a micro SD but all right now the phone right so look at this hotness all right let's uh, open this up and uh, let's remove the IMA sticker in the back as well. So we've got that and here we go. All right, Ta -da -da -da. oh yeah, the Mi 11 aesthetics are very obvious here with this camera pod, right? But look at how thin this is, okay? So according to the specs, this is 6.8 millimeters thin. Most phones today are seven, eight, nine millimeters. So this feels and looks immediately super thin. Yeah, wow. All right, let's turn it on and have a look at that gorgeous display. And this is an AMOLED panel, 90 Hertz, 1080p, but it has 10 bit color depth, so a billion colors. And there's no in-display fingerprint sensor. Again, like the Poco F3 I just unboxed and a bunch of other phones from Xiaomi recently, this has the fingerprint sensor in the power lock key, but it's convex instead of concave like other side-mounted fingerprint sensors. Pretty well done. So here's that gorgeous display. There's a hole punch for the camera up here. This is a 20 megapixel F over 2.2, 0.8 micron camera, probably the same as in Poco F3, which means they don't do pixel binning on that. But again, you know, Xiaomi is kind of like really good at parts spinning, what I call reusing parts across multiple devices and sharing parts between devices. And this is definitely the same camera we saw on the Poco F3 and other recent phones. So 
MIUI 12 on top of Android 11, no surprises there. But this display is super bright, I can tell you right now, it's going to be a really high quality display. Okay, under the hood we have a Snapdragon 780G. Now this little highlight you see here is not a reflection from any light anywhere here. This is just kind of the sheen that's built into this kind of satin finish, right? This is front and back glass with what I presume is a plastic frame that's painted because it doesn't have any antenna bands. I'll give you a tour of the edges in a second. Anyway, Snapdragon 780G, we've got either 6 or 8 gigs of RAM here, right? And then we've got either 128 or 256 gigs of storage, UFS 2.2. And then we have a pretty decent sized battery considering how actually thin this phone is, a 4250 milliamp hour. Now, this is a five nanometer chip, so it's pretty efficient as well. So I expect that even though that's a small battery and the phone is pretty thin, right? We're gonna still get some pretty decent battery life with 4250 milliamp hours. Now there's no wireless charging here, but it's 33 watt fast charging, including quick charge four plus and PD 3.0. So that's pretty nice. In terms of the cameras on the back, there's three of them, very much the same layout as the camera pod on the Mi 11. It's a 64 megapixel main sensor, okay? F of a 1.8, 0.7 micron pixels, with PDAF phase detect autofocus. As far as I know, there's no OIS on this sensor. Then there's an eight megapixel F over 2.2 ultra wide with 1.12 micron pixels. Again, if this sounds familiar, it's because it's probably the same ultra wide we saw on the Poco F3. And then there is a five megapixel F over 2.4 macro with autofocus, again, like the Poco Phone F3. So in many ways, this is a lot of part sharing. You get a different chip and a different display here and a different battery size, but overall, you're getting very similar phone, right? So in terms of specs overall, that's pretty much it. There's stereo speakers and no headphone jack, you saw that. Let me walk you around the edges. So volume rocker, power lock key with built-in capacitive fingerprint sensor right here. Then on the bottom, we got one of the two speakers, USB type C, primary microphone, SIM tray. On the left-hand side, there's really absolutely nothing. And then on top here, you've got what looks like a little secondary mic and maybe an infrared transmitter here. A lot of Xiaomi phones have the infrared transmitter, the Poco F3 had it as well. And as I mentioned with stereo speakers, the earpiece here is used as the other speaker. So that's basically it in terms of the tour of this Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite 5G, first Snapdragon 780G phone on the market. Very interesting, very sexy, very thin, you know, very premium feeling and looking for this price point, 370 euros. So that's it, folks. That's my unboxing of the Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite 5G. Please stay tuned for more videos. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, click on the notification bell below. Tell me what you think. Would you buy this over a Poco? I have a feeling the cameras are gonna be better on this phone, but you're not gonna get as fast of a processor. So, you know, what would matter to you more? Of course, also the very sexy, thin, design let me know in the comments and remember this is a compliment to my podcast mobiletechpodcast.com or on google podcast apple podcast pocket cast spotify everywhere good podcasts can be found please subscribe to the podcast as well and stay tuned i'll have more videos very very soon until then cheers everybody